You know, we might not have uh, some of the technology in place that we would have hoped for. You know, you, I would uh, ask you to go back and look at some of those videos from four years ago, and then it's like, in, in 2013, we'll have our salt loop running, and it <laughs> seemed really realistic back then, and it wasn't due to uh, any physical constraint. It was just, you know, it's the forces that be that, uh, that we're all working to uh, resolve. Uh, but as I said at the opening, you know, uh, uh, I really don't believe in a little gray metallic rock, <laughs> and I really don't believe in, uh, in a little molten salt machine bucket, you know, or even solid fuel replacement rods. I mean, all that stuff is fun to talk about, and we got to just do it for the last uh, 48 hours. You know, I do this because it's so interesting to get to meet you all and to see how much you guys are all willing to uh, sacrifice. You know, very few of you are being paid to be here. Most of you are taking large amounts of your own personal time uh, and money to be here. I mean, uh, on the plus side, though, some of you are being paid to be here, which is a big development, you know, and some of you are here to get a payday and try and you know, see how we can make some money from that. And that's awesome. That's what's really going to motivate you. So seeing that balance from just a boatload of fanatics <laughs> to uh, maybe a, a trainload of enthusiasts and then maybe someday uh, you know, a, a battleship of warriors or something like that. <laughs> Well, I'm just, uh, I'm just reminded of uh, a little parting thought. You know, Gandhi always said, you know, uh, first they make fun of you, you know, then they fight you, and then you win, you know. So maybe that boatload of fanatics thing is where they fight you and make fun of you. So I think uh, the we win part is right around the corner. I really do. I wouldn't be doing that. So I just want you to know, again, you know, you are all the future of energy. You're all going to be able to tell your relatives and bo bore people in the bars in the old age home. You'll be like, I was there when it all started. <laughs> uh, so good. Good for you. And uh, I just, one last little thing. I really want to thank Vince Lukowski, Tammy Dominowski. This uh, would have been a useless pursuit without their help and uh, their, their incredible patience in dealing with all this. And uh, I want to thank all the uh, sponsors, uh, corporate sponsors, individuals who gave us generous amounts of money. They're the guys who keep this uh, event so reasonably priced. I mean, it really, you know, if you look at what similar events cost, they're usually well over a G, mostly in the two to three, you know, so it's due to some, uh, some uh, folks with uh, generous uh, wallets that uh, keep this going at such a reasonable rate. And uh, I also want you to thank yourselves again for, uh, for, for doing this. Uh, I know that it sounds like 200 bucks is, is a bargain, and it is, but I still know that it's a struggle for a lot of you to have made this trip here from very far places. So, so thank you again for yourselves. And so uh, once again, I uh, call this meeting of the Thorium Energy Alliance to a close. And uh, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy Chicago. I hope you take advantage of being here on a Friday night and get to go see the hideout or Rose's Blues Lounge or any of that stuff. Uh, have a good time, guys, and thanks again for such a wonderful conference.